Hey, what's going on everyone? This is iReviews back with another video and today we're talking about hidden features on the new iOS 18.2. So as you probably know by now, iOS 18.2 has been released for almost a week now and it has some awesome new features and changes and there are also some hidden features that I believe are very useful and you must know and of course use them on your iOS 18.2 device. Now here is the first one which I think is very useful and will save you time this pop-up right here you probably have seen this once you have connected your iphone to a computer it will basically show you a pop-up asking you to trust that computer before you can move on and have a connection between your iphone and that computer but you know that when you tap the trust button right here it will ask you to enter your passcode well now with the new ios 18 you don't have to do that as you will be able to actually bypass this using not your passcode but your face id once you tap the trust button it will just invoke the face id right here and will authorize your device to be connected to that computer moving on to the apple intelligence features and i will show you guys here a couple of tricks which are very very useful first of all here we have a text basically it's a short tail created with chat gpt but what we can do here if i just go ahead and select all this text i will be able to actually change this of course you know that you can change this with the writing tools we can tap here and we have a few different options but with ios 18.2 now you can describe the change so i don't have to move here maybe to friendly or professional or proofread or something like that if i just want to change anything else that is not right here I can do that from this section right here so i can i can just basically describe the change so let's say make this shorter and just like that tap the send button and now of course it will scan the text and we should get this text but now in a shorter form and as you can see right there how cool is that now you can basically describe any change you want to make to your text and you can go ahead and do that using of course the new features of apple intelligence on ios 18.2 and you probably know about the image one feature on iOS 18.2 that allows to basically create different images simply by adding different words. But what you can do here is pretty cool. So if you have a text somewhere and you just want to create an image out of that text, you can do that. So here I have this text. I can go ahead and just select this. So if I just want to select here a couple of words, this section right here where it says beautiful garden, I can just go ahead and select that. And then right here from this menu, all I have to do is just tap add to playground and it will create the image based on those words right here on the notes app. You can see how cool is that. So any text that you can select, you can basically create an image out of that text using the new playground feature. Now here we have another one when it comes to Apple intelligence and then we will move to some other features. So you know with iOS 18.2 we have the new Genmoji feature. So right here when you tap to create a new emoji with Genmoji you will get a feature that's pretty cool. So let's just create an emoji here. So once we have this emoji created we will get a feature that will allow us to quickly find that emoji from anywhere so right here we have of course a few different options so if i just tap right there and tap on add caption now you can see right there the caption will be the phrase that we have entered to describe the emoji that we want to create but we can change that so if i just want to do rally right here i can do that tap on add and now it will add this emoji right here to my emojis now when i want to find that in the in the future or maybe if i'm if i'm in another app i want to find that emoji i can just go ahead and search it right here so i can just tap rel in this case and you can see there i have the emoji that we have just created so this is the way you can easily find the emojis that you have created with apple intelligence and if you have a newer iPhone, the iPhone 16 Pros, now you will be able to add layers to your voice memo. So when you're recording, or if you have a voice recording right there, you will have that plus button that allows to add a vocal layer. So you can basically record another recording above that one that you have currently. So it doesn't replace it, it will just merge the both together. 
and also you will be able to adjust the speed here for the camera control so if you go to settings you go under accessibility and then you go to camera control you will have here double double light press and then you will have double click speed right there you can just go ahead and switch between default slow and slower of course whichever one you think is more better fit for you of course and it works properly how you want to work you can just go ahead and switch them right here now one of the coolest new changes on ios 18.2 is that now you view photos and videos on full screen so previously it would like zoom out here to show the bar right here black bar which will show you the other photos now it doesn't do that it just shows them above the current picture so you can just swipe like this at all and all the time you're on full screen mode of course having way more space here for a better view of your photos and videos Another great change can be found on the music app. If you use Apple Music, then you will notice that when you go to certain albums that have two different discs, now it will show you which songs belong to disc 1 and which to disc 2. As you can see right here, you have this album and it says disc 1, we have these songs, and then we have the other songs on the disc 2. A new feature here can be found also on the App Store. When you go to the arcade section, you know that with the arcade games, there are a lot of previews of the games on the page of the arcade games. Now, if they bother you and you don't want to see them, you can just tap that button right there and it shows right here game previews. So you can go ahead and disable the game previews from here. And we also have actions for the fitness app on the shortcuts app. So right here you can open the fitness settings, the session history, open the trends, open the view. From here you can also see your rewards or search fitness plus. So you will have a ton of different new actions for the fitness app now on the shortcuts app. And as you probably know, with iOS 18, Apple has introduced a new feature that can be found here under accessibility. You go to motion and right there we have motion cues, of course, for your car. Now, if you go ahead and enable this, then it will also show right there on the dynamic island of your device. So whenever you have this enabled or disabled, it shows the preview right there on the dynamic island. So that's basically it for this video guys, hope you guys enjoyed the video and found all of these features, hidden features useful and probably use them on daily basis on your iPhone. So let me know right down below in the comments what do you think about this update. In my opinion iOS 18.2 it actually has been a great update with a ton of new features and changes. Now of course we'll have to wait now and see what Apple will bring us with iOS 18.3 which as we have talked about on the previous video will be out on its first beta pretty pretty soon so that's basically it hope you guys enjoyed the video smash that like button if you did of course don't forget to subscribe for more ios 18 videos and i will see you on the next one